Uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Our 18th night of action for the 2024 winter spring season gets underway in about 29 minutes at 5.55. Nine races this evening. Super high five carry over the nightcap in excess of $1,800. Tonight's seventh race is the Saturday featured event, the 40th running of the Forgo Stakes, $125,000 guaranteed. Four-year-olds and up traveling six and a half furlongs, a field of seven. Number three, nighttime, coming off that stakes victory is the five to two morning line favorite. I'm your track announcer, Tony Kalo. Let's open up our programs. Here are tonight's changes. In tonight's opener, we have an additional workout, number six, Move In Silence. That was on the 27th of January right here at Turfway Park. Fast as always, a half mile move, 48 seconds breezing. The opener will begin the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Family factor and blame it on my mama, both quickly into stride. Blame it on my mama, picking it up. In the third spot, races a gapper with Innocent Man. Move in silence from the far outside. Reapply from the rail. Dirt Boss with the Calumet colors. Six lengths off the pace. Two clear of Moonlight Joker. Royally flushed is the last of all. And blame it on my mama. Pop that starting eight a length plus advantage to Family Factor. Move in silence is more than three from his stable mate. Reapply goes with him from the inside. And also there is Gapper. He's in the two path with the green silks. Innocent Man has the six spot. Little more than five and a half off the lead. Past the three eights. Two and a half for three to Moonlight Joker. Royally flushed. And Dirt Boss is at the back. And Blame It On My Mama is the one to come and catch in the Saturday opener. Blame It On My Mama. Two and a half legs. Family Factor continues to chase the pace from second. Reapply makes a move for that spot. Tips away from the inside. Comes under left-handed urging. Has a little momentum. And Gapper's trying to close to the outside. Here comes Reapply to tackle. Blame it on my mama. Blame it on my mama. Still with the lead. Needs a 16th for the money. Reapplies trying to come and get the top spot, but it's not happening. Blame it on my mama. Blame it on my mama wins the opener from reapply. Gapper was third. Family factor fourth for the super factor. Larry Ravelli had a couple of horses in the Saturday opener. Move in silence and blame it on my mama. They both came out with the ideal or the same getups with the similar silks and blinkers. The difference being blame it on my mama was a dark bay. And the other difference, the main difference, is Blame It On My Mama popped the starting gate. So I never really had to worry about them getting side by side. Eight, hey, Blame It On My Mama, good looking winner of the opener. 119 and three one hundreds. In the winner's circle is number eight, Blame It On My Mama. Three year old Dark Bay of Brown Gold by Peace and Justice out of the Congrats Mare Angel Lane, owned by Patricia's Hope, LLZ. Winning trainer Larry Ravelli, winning jockey Gerardo Carrellis. But it was bred in Pennsylvania by A1A Racing and J. Bly. And the opener is official, 8239. Top four finishers, that exact of $100.44. The trifecta, $153.04. The Superfectas, 10 cent and dollar, 8239. Winning combinations. Winning combination, $150.43 for the dime. The buck version, $1,504.31. Tonight's second race will begin the early pick four. Scratches one frothy, five Milan mischief, 12 English, and 14 moonlit magic. The 13 will draw in off the also eligible list. 10 always go to the party as an additional workout. 27th of January right here at Turfway Park. Fast track as always, half mile move, 50 and two fifths breezing. Our second race is in 26 minutes, 6.28. And there they go, slow start, Miss Diamond Rich. Pintore de Oro and Dandelion are quickly away, and Riviere's forwardly positioned, three deep, heading into the first turn. Queen of the Dance from the far outside. Dandelion making the pace from Pintore de Oro, and Riviere will set up shop from third. She's in a beautiful position through the initial stages. Queen of the Dance, not a bad spot for her either. She's a little less than three lengths off the lead. 
maybe three and a half. Almost a link back to Ella Francis from the inside. Juno-esque midfield, little shy of six and a half or seven from the pace. From the rail is Proud Lori. Further out, Kazima Rose. Always go to the party. Second last, Miss Diamond Rich after the slow start is the last of ten. And Dandelion still has the lead from Petore de Oro. And Riviere's in that beautiful spot from third, and she's inching closer. Riviere getting within a length and a half or two, heading into the third. Ella Francis, three lengths to find at the three eights. Queen of the Dance, three and a half from the front. Juno esque, a little less than five lengths off the lead. Proud Lori from the inside, because I'm a rose from the far outside. And we're going to miss Diamond Rich and always go to the party. Dandelion still with the lead. Here comes Riviere and Queen of the Dance. Riviere is up to the front. She's traveling strongly at the quarter pole. Queen of the Dance makes her move, and Juno esque is finding her stride to the outside. Riviere confronted by Queen of the Dance. Riviere under left handed urging. Queen of the Dance is there. Proud Lori's trying to quicken in. Juno esque to the outside. Queen of the Dance and Riviere. Riviere has the lead. Gerardo Corrales looking for this early double. Riviere and Queen of the Dance. It's Riviere in front. The early double to Corrales. Queen of the Dance was second, farther back, Juno esque and Proud Lori. Good race between Riviere and Queen of the Dance. Their spots and entering that backstretch run were both ideal. Riviere sitting at third, Queen of the Dance fourth. You could tell right away those two probably were going to have a say in tonight's second race. It's a strong ride from Gerardo Corrales. He really asked Riviere for everything this evening, and she delivered. In the winner's circle is number seven, Riviere. Four-year-old of Bay Philly by Bolt de Oro out of the distorted humor mare, Julie's Jewelry. On by Black Type Thoroughbreds, wedding trainers, Billy Mori. The early double to one man, Gerardo Corrales. When it was bred in Kentucky by Allied Racing Stable LLC. 71193, a top four finishers, 10 cents Superfecta, $190.88. Dollar Superfecta, $1908.80. 7-Eleven Exacta, $44.84. 7-Eleven Trifecta, $39.96. 8-7 Early Corrales Double, $15.40. Third race is clear of change. Tonight's third race with no changes to report. It will start a double at a mid-pick three. The third race is in 21 minutes at 6.56. And there they go. Just a simple girl and maybe lucky and wild. These are the two quickest away out of the starting gate. Oh, babe makes a move for the third spot. And running with Oh, babe. There's a bunch of them, including Polka Polenta, Azamana Empire, Proto Magic from the far outside, Botox Katie now third last, Liberty Bell second last, and the Lone Philly Lemon Bomb is the last of nine. And she's about eight lengths off the lead as they race to the three eights. And it is just a simple girl who has the lead from maybe Lucky and Wild. Oh, babe, gets a little closer from the inside, getting within two and a half midway through the turn. Here comes Proto Magic with her big rush. And Proto Magic makes a big move from fifth into second with all the momentum to the outside. Proto Magic making her move for the top spot. Just a simple girl tries to fight on. Oh, Babe continues to dig in along the inside. Then maybe Lucky and Wild. Just a simple girl. Proto Magic right alongside. Oh, Babe is third. Lemon Bomb's trying to close to the extreme outside. Proto Magic beat her to the punch. Proto Magic has the lead. She's sharp these days. Lemon Bomb late on the scene. Proto Magic. Lemon Bomb, I believe, is up for second. Then Liberty Bell. And checking in fourth was just a simple girl. Proto Magic with three in a row. I'm not sure if she is the first three-time winner of the season. She is one sharp individual. Two to one, pretty good for Proto Magic, especially considering she was about four to five against a similar group on the 13th of January. Proto Magic made that big move through the turn, going from fifth to second, just like that. Took her a little while to put away just a simple girl, but when she did, you knew she was heading to the winner's circle.
Frodo Magic is in the winner's circle. That is three in a row for this five-year-old dark bay or brown mare by Protonico out of the Mizzen Mask Mare, Vatuba, owned by Robert King. Winning trainers, Juan Munoz Cano. Winning jockey, Axel Concepcio. 9723, that exact $35.38. 972 trifecta. Get back to that payoff. The 10 cent super, $159.89. Dollar super, $1598.99. 879, early pick three, $32.86. The trifecta, $108.40. 79 double, $15.59. No changes in the fourth. Race four is clear of change. It starts the 20 cent single six, a jackpot. No carry over this evening. Ready for the 20 cent single six jackpot. And there they go. Twirling Ruth, part of the pace. Also there, races Cactus Flower. And Bluegrass Anna's forwardly positioned along with Princess Tapature. And Kaltha has the fourth spot. Here's Twirling Ruth back to the fifth position. Beach Kitten races with Naughty Nelly. After them, Queen of Jill, a little less than five lengths off the lead. And Band from Midway is the last of all. Cactus Flower has the lead, almost three parts of a length from her outside. Bluegrass Anna. Bluegrass Anna stalking pretty smartly from that outside. Beach Kitten third from the inside. Twirling Ruth matches her. They're both two off the lead past the 5 16ths or past the 3 8 heading to the 5 16ths. And with the lead, it still is Cactus Flower making her move. Bluegrass Anna. And here comes one sweeping into the sea. That's Queen of Chill outside of Twirling Ruth. Beach Kittens the gray in fifth. Little to Kaltha, Princess Tapature. They're in the lane. Cactus Flower has the lead. Beach Kitten comes away from the inside for the final 3 16 Cactus Flower has the lead. Beach Kitten gets within a length from the outside. Beach Kitten trying to come and get Cactus Flower. Cactus Flower, Beach Kitten. Who's it going to be? Cactus Flower, Beach Kitten, Cactus Flower. Cactus Flower from Beach Kitten. Twirling Ruth was third. Bluegrass Anna could only manage fourth this evening to complete that Superfecta. Cactus Flower kept on going along the inside. Bluegrass Anna was stalking pretty smartly from the outside. So was Twirling Ruth. Beach Kitten got a pretty nice trip along the inside. Tipped into the clear. Had a lot of momentum. Had every chance to go on by. Cactus Flower could not. 111 and 73 one hundredths the final time from the fourth race. Number two, Cactus Flower, the unofficial winner. Cactus Flower is in the winner's circle. A five-year-old dark bay or brown mare by Runaway and Hyde out of the Cactus Ridge mare, Cactus Joe. Owned by Randy Matthews and Charlie Farrell and others. Randy is the winning trader, winning jockey, Alberto Burgos. Winner was bred in Indiana by Mr. and Mrs. Randall Daniel Matthews, along with Mr. and Mrs. Charles Michael Farr. Here are the prices. That 10 cent Superfecta, $49.14. Dollar Superfecta, $491.41. Two one Exacta, $78.10. Two one nine Trifecta, $68.58. 92 Double, $25.78. 792 pick three, $53.14. Fifth race will start our late pick five. Three scratches, one Uncle William. 13 and 14, both the also's. Bad Boy for Life and last U turn. Our late pick five, 24 minutes away. 755 is the post. And there they go. Hang them at the tail of the field. Frost Mountain is showing pace with a SIG. Also, there is Zeca Diablo. No, no, Joe from the top shelf. Deployment is one from the outside, tapping out a tune with the orange silks from the rail. Now that I can rock is midfield, four lengths off the lead. A length and a half, the five-star G-Man, almost a length in front of Stonks. From the far outside is Accident, and Hingham doesn't know much about it in his first look. He's a country mile out of it. Here comes No No Joe with a big blitz to join Zeca Diablo. And tapping out a two to staying on with them from the inside. No No Joe, three wide, Zeca Diablo from between runners. And tapping out a two in his third, Frost Mountain is into the fourth spot, and he gets within three and a half of No No Joe and Zeca Diablo. After them, races five star G Man, Accident. And now that I can rock, No No Joe and Zeca Diablo. 
No, no, Joe with a narrow lead. Zeca Diablo from the inside. Frost Mountain's making his move. In fact, they're all storming home. Far outside accident with Now That I Can Rock. Frost Mountain, Now That I Can Rock. Accident to the far outside. Now That I Can Rock. Now That I Can Rock from accident. Frost Mountain third. Five star G Man fourth. No, no, Joe back to the fifth spot. The complexion of that race changed very drastically and very quickly at the top of the lane. No, no, Joe had made his nice move to confront Zeca Diablo. Those two looked like they were going well enough. Here comes Frost Mountain with his bid, and then it all fell apart. Now that I can rock, an accident really picking up their strides in the late stages. 111 and 56 100s, the final running time from tonight's fifth. And the winner's circle is number seven, Now That I Can Rock. Ten start gets him to the winner's circle. A four-year-old, a dark bear, brown gelding by Flintshire out of the uh, Gone West Mare, West Side, a singer. Owned by Brian Michael. Brian's the winning trader, winning jockey, Corey Orb. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Alan Tenenbaum. Nice exact to $252.96. Big trifecta, $776.57. Two seven double seventy eight dollars forty nine cents. Early pick four, four hundred forty nine dollars twenty nine cents. Ten cent super, thirteen hundred seventy four dollars thirty two cents. Dollar super factor, thirteen thousand seven hundred forty three dollars twenty nine cents. Early pick five, nineteen hundred forty-five dollars twenty-six cents. Four out of five, twenty-six dollars forty cents. Nine two seven pick three, one hundred thirty-six dollars thirty-six cents. Tonight six, we'll start our late pick four. Four and eight both scratch. Four three coins. Eight Bel Parone. Seven Vogel Zeng has an additional workout. Churchill training. Twenty-seventh of January half mile move. Forty-eight and four fifths bracing. Our late pick four in twenty-two minutes at eight twenty-five. And there they go. Amanda's challenge and stupendous begin the best and share is showing plenty of zip. Pillow drops forwardly position, positioned and here comes Hammer and Jammer from between gals. Hammer and Jammer is going to pick it up and share is from the inside and stupendous is right there amongst the early leaders. She's pressing the action, poking her head in front. Amanda's challenge and laser jet are about three and a half lengths off the lead. Megan's Noel is from the inside. Megan's Noel along the rail with the green silks. And going with Megan's Noel is pillow drop as they begin to bunch up near the top spot. Economic hangover is one from the outside. Far outside races Vogel saying, and one at the back is American Anna. Stupendous has the lead. Cher is right there applying pressure. Hammer and Jammer from the inside. Amanda's challenge is in the clear. She takes over the third spot, a length off, heading into the turn. And to the inside, there races Pillow Drop and Laser Jet with a wide journey. Boy, they remain pretty compact. Let's stick with the leaders. From the outside, Amanda's challenge here from between runners. Stupendous along the inside. Laser Jet strides into the fourth spot. Economic hangovers in the fifth position. From the inside is Pillow Drop. Share and Amanda's challenge. And here comes Laser Jet. Megan Snowell's trying to find her stride. Green silks, white cap, white blinker. She has momentum at the top of the lane. They got to come and get Share. Share has the lead. Megan Snowell could be the late threat in the final furlong. She continues to close in nice. Far outside, American Anna. Here comes Megan's Noel. Megan's Noel's up to the front. Shares back to second. Megan's Noel is the winner from Sheer Laser Jet and American Anna checked in fourth for the Superfecta. All right, fans, the Bach family up in the booth for race six. Pretty cool things here. Megan Snowell with a big run at six to one. The unofficial winner out finishing the favorite two. Sheer in the run to the wire. Third place, 12, Laser Jet. Fourth place, three, American Anna. 141 and 43, 100. It's the final time from tonight's sixth. The winner's circle is number one, Megan's Noel. She is a five-year-old Bay Mare by Classic Empire out of the pleasantly perfect Bear. Practically perfect. Winning owner is Tim Garassi. Winning a trader is Jamie Grubbs. Winning a jockey, German Torraza, the Bug Boy. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Double JH Stable Incorporated.
10 cent super, $58.28. Dollar superfecta, $582.81. 271 pick three, $357.96. One two exact, a $51.34. One two 12 trifecta, $48.55. A seven one daily double, $128.91. Seventh race is the Saturday feature. The 40th running of the Forgo Stakes. $125,000 guaranteed. A six and a half furlong sprint for four year olds and up. Scratch number eight, Maniwa. One Storm Daddy, one pound over the way. Race seven, the Saturday feature begins our late pick three. Post time in 21 minutes at 8.55. The horses are coming onto the track for the Saturday feature, the 40th running of the Forgo Stakes, $125,000 guaranteed, sprinting at six and a half furlongs, four-year-olds and up, scratch eight, Manny Wah, the one storm daddy, one pound over the weight. A field of seven beginning our late pick three. And let's meet the field beginning with number one, Storm Daddy, owned by Esteban Gordillo Ramirez, along with Normando Jimenez and Maria Alejandro. The trainer is Lilia Gonzalez, and the jockey is Andres Ulloa. Number two is Condemn, owned by Claiborne Farm, along with Adele Dilschneider. Thomas Drury, the trainer. Gerardo Corrales is the pilot. Number three is Nighttime, owned by SB Stables LLC, along with Genstar Thoroughbreds, David Bernson, and Omar Aldaba. Billy Mori is the trainer, the jockey, Fernando de la Cruz. Next will be number four, Arrest Me Red, owned by Lale Stables, conditioned by Wesley Ward in the Irons, Walter Rodriguez. Five is Sir Alfred James, owned by Built Right Stables, LLC. His trainer is Raymond Gittner, Jr., his jockey, Martin Garcia. Next will be number six, Bourbon Heist, owned by Bourbon Lane Stable, conditioned by Ian Wilkes, the pilot, Tyler Connor. And completing the post parade is Seven Zerly Furious, owned by Novogratz Racing Stables Incorporated, conditioned by Glenn Wismer, and the jockey is Luan Machado. That is the field of seven for the 40th running of the Forgo Stakes, our Saturday featured event, beginning our late pick three, six minutes away at 8.55. And there they go in the 40th running of the Forgo Stakes. Sir Alfred James is showing pace with Surly Furious. Bourbon Heist is up close here. Storm Daddy, he wants to be part of the pace from the inside. Surly Furious, surprisingly, he has the lead from Sir Alfred James. Arrest Me Red is pulling on the jock. He wants to go and mix it up. Jock wants him to sit chilly. Walter Rodriguez trying to ration the energy of Arrest Me Red. Storm Daddy is fourth from the inside with Condemn. And in between runners races, Bourbon Heist and Nighttime from the extreme outside. A very compact group, 22 and four-fifths, just a tick under 23 seconds for that opening quarter. Surly Furious and Sir Alfred James work with two lengths. Arrest Me Red has been eager to go from the very beginning. Condemned from between runners. Bourbon Heist is gearing up. Nighttime finds himself a little wide through the turn. Boy, he's going to have to go and get Surly Furious, who looks pretty tough to beat from here. At the tail is Storm Daddy. They're at the top of the lane in the 40th running of the Forgo Stakes. And Surly Furious is the one to beat this evening. Running a big one. Working with two and a half at the eighth pole. Arrest Me Red is second, and farther out is Bourbon Heist. Not tonight for nighttime. Surly Furious getting to the wire in time. Surly Furious and Luan Machado win by more than a length to Arrest Me Red. Bourbon Heist was third. Further back was Storm Daddy. Nighttime condemn, and at the tail of the field, Sir Alfred James. Uh, you knew it was Surly Furious's night when he was already up and on the pace through that opening quarter. They went just shy of 23 seconds. Here's a horse who was turning back in distance. Last time out, he was in a mile and a 116th affair, and he was last early time before that. He came from off the pace in a six furlong race, which was won by out of door nighttime and finished in front of him. Tonight, it was Surly Furious's night. Juan Machado with a very heads up ride. The race lacked pace. He put him into the race early, and he's a much the best winner. I don't think the margin tells the tale here. Surly Furious, a dominating winner of the 40th running of the Forgo Stakes. Seven Surly Furious is in the winner's circle. Seven for 26 in his career. A six-year-old bay gelding by upstart. Out of the majestic perfection mare, perfect prediction. 
Owned by Novagrat Racing Stables Incorporated. Glenn Wismer, the winning trader, winning jockey, Luan Machado. When it was bred in Kentucky by Brereton C. Jones. Congratulations to Surly Afurious, a good looking winner of tonight's Forgo Stakes. Trophy presentation in the winner's circle. Second choice in the wagering. Surly Furious. Winning with ease. There's Chip Bach, our general manager. His family and friends in the winner's circle there with Luan Machado, winning jockey aboard Surly Furious. The Forgo Stakes is official. 7461. 10 cents Superfecta, $149.38. Dollar Superfecta, $1,493.85. 717 pick three, $182.80. 7-4 exact, $41.90. 746 trifecta, $45.84. One seven double. I think it was $45.84. Gonna get back to it just to make sure I've got it all covered. That was the trifecta, so I'm glad I'm back to it. $21.89. All right, here we go. Let's get to the eighth race, beginning our late daily double a one mile affair. Nine and 11, both scratch. Classic creation and night's move. Nine and 11, both scratch from the eighth race, beginning the late daily double. We have a couple of horses with additional workouts. Three, Yono, Skylight Trading Center, 27th of January, half mile move, 49 and two fits, breezing over a fast track, and seven stirred a pot. High Point Farm and Trading Center. That was back on the 11th of January. Half mile move, fast track, 50 seconds breeze. And race eight, beginning the late double. In 22 minutes at 9.25. And there they go. Jura and Hardy Choice and Carmichael hustled along. Santantimo wants to go. So too does the gray stirred a pot from the far outside. Santantimo along the inside and stirred a pot, stirred a pot a little quicker. Stirred a pot, making the pace. Zondantamo's into the second spot with Hardy. Joyce Carmichael has the fourth position. Jura's in the fifth spot along the inside, and he's a little less than four and a half lengths off the lead. Half a length to JP Race, five lengths from the pace. Another length back to Rarified Flair from the inside. Here's the favorite bloodline going with him. Yono is at the back of the pack. The field of nine covered by about eight lengths, and with the lead, stirred a pot. He wanted the pace, and he's making it. Stirred a pot by two and a half lengths. Santantamo fights for second right there with him. Hardy Joyce Carmichael's in the fourth spot. JP Race in the clear. He's in the fifth position and he has four lengths to make up. Another two and a half. The bloodline now beginning to pick up his stride with Jura. In the meantime, JP Race is the first one to come and try to get stirred a pot. Stirred a pot has the lead. JP Race trying to close in with Santantamo. Hardy Choice is under a drive from the fourth spot. Boy, bloodline has a lot of work to do. Now he's trying to close. He's in the two path, but he's going to have to really giddy up from there. From his inside, Jura. After that race is Yono. Stir to pot. He is stirring to pot at 35 to 1. He has led the entire trip, and he still has two lengths. Bloodline's trying to close. Far outside is Yono. Yono's coming home quickly. Here comes Bloodline and Yono. And JP race Bloodline. Bloodline's going to get there. Bloodline's in a photo there. I think he got there. It's tight. Yono was coming at him late. JP race third and stirred a pot. Boy, he tried to. He ends up settling for the fourth position. If you had your money on a bloodline at seven to five through the turn, you were getting very, very concerned. Still, be, still could have some concern. This photo got a little tight on the line here. Bloodline and Yono coming at him very quickly. 139 and 41 one hundredths. Quite a discrepancy in price. 10 Bloodline does hang on. 7 to 5 favorite. A very narrow victory from Bray Yono. Really closing in nicely. 8 JP race third. Fourth place, 7 stirred a pot. Entering the winner's circle is 10 Bloodline. A 5 year old dark bear brown gelding by Uncle Mo out of the AP Indy Mare. AP Dream. Some pretty good blood. Now you know why he's named Bloodline. Glassman Racing, Glassman Racing, LLZ, the winning owners, winning trader Brad Cox, a riding double for Axel. Good Sepsio. Bloodline was bred in Kentucky by Kinsman Farr. Race eight is in the books officially 10387, that exact of $56.50. Trifecta, $80.86. 710, double, $8.97. 
Ten cent Superfecta, one hundred sixty-two dollars thirty-nine cents. Dollar Super, sixteen hundred twenty-three dollars ninety-nine cents. One seven ten pick three, thirty-seven dollars eleven cents. One more race to go on the Saturday card. The nightcap. Super high five carryover, eighteen hundred forty dollars twenty-two cents. Three and thirteen, both scratch. Sakura Sky and Parlay Charlie. Three additional workouts, two don't touch, Horseshoe Indianapolis, 30th of January, Muddy Racetrack, half mile, 51 seconds, breezing, five, Madame Leota, Churchill Training, 29th of January, fast track, half mile, 49 and four, fifth, breezing, and nine, Marveling, 4th of February, Three Diamonds Farm, fast track, half mile, 51 seconds, breezing, the Saturday night camp at 22 minutes at 9.55. And there they go. Don't touch quickly away from the inside. Our Queen Candy also flashing foot. Charcor is there with Valerie Blue. The Enemy of Fun comes away in fifth. Madame Leota six, just like you, advances from the inside. Then summarize Marveling. I want Ruffles. And the early trailer is Interception. Don't touch. Fleet a foot a length. Our Queen Candy second, Charcor third. Valerie Blue's forwardly positioned in the fourth spot. Three lengths off the lead. Better than a length to just like you. From the extreme outside is Madame Leota. From the inside, I want Ruffles. Seven lengths off the pace, heading into the turn. Two lengths to the enemy of fun. Similar margin to summarize. Interception, second last, and Marveling's the last of all. And Don't Touch still has the lead. And our Queen Candy's trying to stay with her. Don't Touch and our Queen Candy, they are 1-2. Chasing them from third, just like you and Valerie Blue. Don't touch as the leader at the 316s. Our Queen Candy now makes her move. Here's our Queen Candy getting the lead. Our Queen Candy has the lead. Valerie Blue begins a bit up the inside under left-handed urging. Our Queen Candy has the lead. She has scampered clear. It's a riding triple for Gerardo Corrales. He bookends the Saturday card. Three overall, our Queen Candy. I want Ruffles. Flew late maybe to get second from Valerie Blue. Just like you, fourth. And fifth place will require a photo between Summer Ice and Interception. Big night for Gerardo Corrales. Swept the first two, gets the nightcap. A three-bagger for Mr. Corrales, our Queen Candy. Three to one. she got by don't touch the big long shot it was her race in the nightcap valerie blue had some look for a minor placing here's i want ruffles rolling late they're involved in the photo for second look like just like you for the fourth spot and we'll need another photo for fifth and that's what we've got on the board 10 7 6 4 photo for fifth so it is our queen candy here's the slow-mo comfortable winner seven i want ruffles rolling late up for second then valerie blue four just like you for the fourth spot, and fifth got tight. Summer ice or interception. Final running time. 119 and 87 100s. Make sure to hold all tickets. Still need that photo for fifth. And the winner's circle is number 10, our Queen Candy. Three year old Bay Philly by Candy Ride right out of the Yes It's True Mayor. Yes, Liz. Owned and trained by Steve Asmussen. Three for Gerardo Carrella. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings, LLC. 1076 trifecta, $47.42. 1010, late double, $8.21. Late pick four, one hundred seventy-three dollars ninety cents. Ten cent super, thirty-five dollars seventy-nine cents. Dollar super factor, three hundred fifty-seven dollars ninety cents. Late pick five, sixteen hundred ninety-seven dollars seventy cents. Four out of five, nineteen dollars twenty-four cents. Super high five was hit for a buck two thousand forty-one dollars seventy-three cents. Got to get you the pick six and the carryover. Rather small carryover into the Wednesday card. A little bit more than 1200 bucks. Tonight's pick six, $2,754.74. Nice payoff for that pick six, $2,754.74. Carry over to the Wednesday card, $1,224.33. A little bit more than $1,200 for Wednesday's 20-cent single six, the jackpot. 
carryover. That's it for Saturday's card. We've got some live entertainment at Bourbon and Brew all the way up until midnight. Stick around, enjoy the action on the gaming floor. Check out the race and sports book. Sign up and be part of our Players Club. We've got that $50 sign-up bonus for new members, $50 free play for new members signing up. So take advantage of that. doesn't cost you a penny. We'll give you $50 in free play. You can enjoy your Saturday night here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. We'll be back at it again on Wednesday. Sure hope you had a great night of racing when leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park. Good night, everyone.